does not suffer at all from his peculiarity, on the contrary, he is proud of the fact that he has six perfectly formed flawless fingers on each hand and foot, and even calls them a blessing, since due to his anomaly, he has always been different from others. In addition, his feature helps Hernandez earn a living it is easier for him to climb palm trees for coconuts, and he also willingly poses for tourists. The city of Baracoa in Guantanamo province, where Hernandez lives, is very popular among foreign visitors to Liberty Island. Firstly, it is the oldest city in Cuba, secondly, legend connects it with the landing site of Christopher Columbus, and thirdly, next to Baracoa, there are extremely interesting national parks to visit, including Alejandro de Humboldt National Park, which is part of UNESCO World Heritage List. One traveler once paid Hernandez $10 for permission to photograph him, not bad for a country where the average salary is just $20 a month. Yonri does not have a regular job, but thanks to his 24 fingers, he is able to feed himself. The anomaly, known as polydactyly, is considered quite common, but extra fingers this perfect are a rarity. Hernandez's extra fingers are in no way inferior to their regular counterparts and are in complete harmony with them, so if you take a quick glance at the Cuban's hands or feet, you most likely will not notice anything unusual until you start counting them. As a child, Yongri's parents took him to a famous Cuban orthopedist, who was also one of Fidel Castro's doctors, and he, being very impressed, said that in all his practice, he had never seen a case of such well-formed polydactyly. By the way, there were no other similar cases in Yongri's family. Interestingly, Hernandez's peculiarity added to his popularity among women. He has a 10-year-old son with a woman who now lives in Havana, and his current girlfriend is now expecting his second child. Even as a child, Yongri was not teased for his unusual feature, he always had many friends, and, according to Hernandez himself, he lives quite well. True, sometimes extra fingers cause confusion. One day, when Hernandez was in elementary school, a teacher asked him what 5 plus 5 was. He was very small, terribly embarrassed and remained silent. The teacher advised the boy to simply count the fingers on both hands, and the proud Yongri replied. 12. The teacher was a little upset, but the boy told her the honest truth. Today, Hernandez hopes his case will show other children with polydactyly that there is nothing wrong or bad happening to them, and they can grow up to be happy, confident people.